house is made of cookies. It looks so yummy. Ansel and Gretel. In a small house near a great forest, there lived Hansel and Gretel with their father and stepmother. One year, they had a very poor harvest, and there was nothing left to eat in the house. Gee, I'm so hungry. Dad, is this all the food we've got? I'm sorry, my little dears. I will get something to eat tomorrow. How do you think you can get something to eat? You kids, just go to your room and sleep. After the children went to their room, the father gave a deep sigh and said, <sighs> How am I going to raise my children now? Dear, I'll tell you what. Let's take the children deep into the forest, leave them there alone, and come back by ourselves. What? Are you telling me to abandon my children in the forest? Yes. Otherwise, four of us are going to starve to death. Do you understand? Just do what I say. Hansel happened to overhear what his father and stepmother were talking about and became very frightened. Hansel told Gretel what their parents had talked about. Hansel, what are we going to do now? At that time, Hansel looked out the window and saw some white stones on the ground. The white stones were shining like silver coins in the moonlight. Don't worry, Gretel. I have an idea. Hansel picked up as many white stones as he could, put them in his pocket, and then went to bed. The next morning, the stepmother woke up Hansel and Gretel, gave each of them a piece of bread, and took them into the forest. While they were walking into the forest, Hansel looked back toward the house again and again. Hansel, what are you doing? Why are you falling behind? My white little kitten is sitting on the roof and saying goodbye to me. Oh, you fool! That is not your kitten. It is the sunshine on the chimney. In fact, Hansel kept looking back to drop the white stones on the path. When they reached the middle of the forest, the father gathered some wood and made a fire. Mother and I are going to go and cut wood. Now, I want both of you to stay still by the fire and wait for us until we come back. Let's hurry, dear. The father and the stepmother left Hansel and Gretel alone in the forest, and then disappeared into the forest. When it became lunchtime, Hansel and Gretel ate their pieces of bread. Hansel and Gretel warmed themselves by the fire and waited for their father and stepmother. Then they gently fell asleep. When at last they woke up, the sun already had set and it was night. The forest was dark and scary. Hansel, why are they still not coming? I want to go home. Gretel, look at those white stones. We just follow them and they will lead us home. As the full moon rose, the white stones started shining like silver coins in the moonlight. Hansel and Gretel went back home by following the stones. Yahoo! It's our house! That's right! Let's go, Gretel! The stepmother was very surprised to see the children return home, 
but she remained calm and opened the door for them. A few days later, Hansel and Gretel knew that their stepmother was trying to abandon them once again. Hansel was trying to go out to get some white stones, but the door of their room was locked and he couldn't get out. This time, the stepmother had locked the door. Uh, oh no! The door is locked! I should get the white stones. What can I do? Hansel, what are we going to do now? Early the next morning, the father and the stepmother took the children farther into the forest. Once more, Hansel looked back toward the house over and over again. Hansel, what are you doing? Why are you stopping? My little pigeon is sitting on top of the roof and saying goodbye to me. You fool! That is not your pigeon. Rather, it is the morning sun shining on the chimney. Actually, Hansel was taking breadcrumbs and dropping them all along the path. The father and the stepmother once again left Hansel and Gretel deep in the forest and then went away. Hansel and Gretel fell asleep by the fire. It was already night when they woke up. Hansel, I don't see any breadcrumbs. Huh? What happened? Hansel had dropped breadcrumbs on the path, but the birds in the forest had come and eaten them all up. Hansel and Gretel were never able to find their way back home. Hansel and Gretel wandered around in the forest all night and became very tired and hungry. The next morning, they found a little house very deep in the forest. Hansel, there is a house over there! Let's go check it out. Maybe we can get something to eat. It was a house made of cookies and cake. The roof was made of bread. The walls were made of candy. And the windows were made of cookies. Oh, this will taste so sweet. Gretel, take a bite of the window. It's a sweet cookie. Hungry Hansel and Gretel broke pieces off the house and ate them. They ate bread with their lips smacking and ate candy with a crunching sound. Right then, the door opened and an ugly-looking old woman came out. Who is eating my house? Hansel and Gretel were so frightened that they dropped the bread and candy which they were holding. Oh, hi! What sweet little kids! My dear children, would you like to come inside and stay with me in this house of cookies? The old woman took Hansel and Gretel inside her house. But the old woman was the old wicked witch who eats children. The old wicked witch could not see things well, but could smell very well. So when children come near her house, she could always tell with her nose. Get up, you lazy bones! You have to cook for your brother! The old wicked witch was going to eat Hansel first. So she locked Hansel up inside a birdcage and fed him greasy food to fatten him up. On the other hand, she made Gretel work and work and work. Several days later, 
The old wicked witch said to Hansel, Stretch out your arm. Let me see if you are fat enough now. Hansel held out a little bone from the food instead of his arm. Because the old wicked witch had weak eyes, she thought that it was Hansel's arm. Darn! You are just as skinny as a bone. I fed you so well, but you are not getting any fatter. Ever since that time, Hansel always held out a thin bone. And the old wicked witch with the weak eyes was always fooled by Hansel. The old wicked witch couldn't wait any longer. She decided to cook Hansel and ordered Gretel to make a fire in her big oven. Gretel knew the old wicked witch's plan and asked her to show how to make a fire. You're stupid! You don't know how to make a fire in an oven? Watch carefully how I do it. The old wicked witch stuck her head into the big oven. At that moment, Gretel pushed her hard into the fire in the oven and locked the door. As the old wicked witch burned to death in the fire, Gretel unlocked the birdcage and saved Hansel. Hansel, we are free! The old wicked witch died in the fire! Thank you, Gretel. Now, let's hurry and go back home. There were a lot of jewels and pearls in the old wicked witch's house. Hansel and Gretel went back home with their pockets full of jewels. Dad, we're back! Dad! Oh, my sweethearts! You are alive and safe! The father welcomed Hansel and Gretel and asked them to forgive him. The stepmother had already died of a disease. Hansel and Gretel and their father lived happily together, thanks to the old Wicked Witch's jewels. What would have happened to the House of Cookies after the old Wicked Witch died? I wish I could go there.